Kristen and welcome back to 100 baby you guys we are here with Gracie and the family and as you guys can see Quinn is running a little bit behind for school today because she just kind of wanted to hang out outside okay Quinn's off to school so they are running a little bit late it's 9 a.m but we are gonna make sure that we have both of them study hard today because you guys it is definitely possible that they are gonna be able to become promoted at school today so if we just kind of peek in, I think both of them are pretty close to, um, okay, so we don't have this all the way up, but I definitely feel like we are in good range of getting that promotion because we do have our one skill to a level two and we also do have our homework completed. So, oh my gosh, we have all of these paintings. So I think what we are going to do is kind of, wait, oh my God, she needs to pee, holy cow. Let's go in there, use the bathroom. And we are going to need to um, fix this, unfortunately. Gracie, what? Oh, I was like, what the heck? <laughs> His white hair just like completely blended in with the chair. Okay, we're not going to watch him. We're going to let him just kind of carry on. Now, you guys had actually pointed out that only one of our toddlers is a vampire. Riker, okay. Gracie, yes, go to the washroom. So, okay, you don't need to be sad. So we do have Riker here, you guys. As you can see, he does have the vampire symbol on his needs. So as he ages up into a teenager, we need to really um, pay attention to what is going on here. I also, oh my gosh, the crying, hang on. We really need to um, have this stop. We're gonna get some potty help. Really? Oh my gosh, Riker, what are you crying about? Somebody passed away, I don't know who it was. We missed a phone call. What is going on today? So today is me, a celebrity. I'm really not gonna pay too much attention to that because honestly, you guys, I do not have very good luck with celebrities. Nobody wants to talk to me. I am a nobody. I heard there's someone famous over at the lounge. No, I do not wanna do that. Not having a good day. <laughs> oh no, what did we lose over here? Oh no, what is this dispose? Thankfully, the gardener is over here. Okay, so basically you guys, Gracie has more than enough money to live on. We have 106,000 simoleons. That is definitely the most money that I feel like I have ever made with any of my Sims household. And I definitely um, have to thank the money tree for that. So the next, oh wait, oh my gosh, we have a phone call. Um, Let's emotional control, let's lower that one. So we're really not in the need of money. We have everything that we need. Our house also has so many things to do, so many activities, and we are soon gonna be passing along some of our garden stuff to the new heir. So as you guys know, we definitely have a lot of pregnancies that we still can have Gracie do, because one thing that I always forget about is every single time that Gracie becomes pregnant, she actually stops ages aging. <laughs> so we still have 14 days until we become an elder and we are pregnant right now. Wait, we have bills. Okay, let's pay our bills. We have our toddler there. So we do have Riker who is going to be a vampire, but we also have Randall who, as you guys can see, is just going to be a regular sim. So I did not realize that you can have twins and not both of them have to be vampires. I actually did not know that. So I think it's going to be really cool to see the differences between um, the two toddlers when they age up and then one's going to be a vampire, one is not. I think that's really cool. It's the first time that we have had that actually happen. So we are going to go over, check out all of their, oh wow, go potty. Wow, we need to do so much. Oh wait, the good news is we did just age up in the last episode, I was going to say. <laughs> We are so far behind with their skills, but we are gonna get their skills brought up. We'll come over. Gracie can come over and help do some potty training here, just so we can get working on their skills so we can eventually have them age up as well. Oh, we do have our frog over here. I think we're gonna pack up the frog and take that with us as well. I don't see any fish in here. Might have to like send maybe one of the girls off to do some fishing. So let's do a little bit of cleaning up. Now, the good news is the house has been staying pretty clean. Like we don't, don't really have that much to clean up. 
Um, we have been basically staying on top of things other than like the odd dish. So let's just get rid of those. Those are clean and we don't have anything in here. Showers are all clean. Okay, because I did have somebody leave a comment that said that we really need an episode of cleaning the home, but there's really not that much to do. We've dragged everything into the garbage. Toilet training. Okay, so he has that skill complete. What's going on upstairs here? I do want to play around with the makeup table a little bit more as well, just because I feel like it's a little bit glitchy. And the tree house. Okay, so you guys have actually um, requested that we end up moving some of these coffins down into the basement and then kind of switch this over for the kids for a hangout area. And I actually don't hate that idea. So I think what I will do, if I remember, I'm going to write this down. Um, coffin in the basement. Pull. So you guys are going to vote. You are going to be seeing a vote um, somewhere on your screen that we will be voting whether or not we want to move the coffins downstairs, change this over into a little bit of like a hobby area or like, yeah, a place for the children or if you want to keep it as is. So we don't really have that much time left in the home. We have the brain still here. <laughs> so I guess we could like put that in our inventory. We have a lot of stuff. We have our ducky, so many toys. Oh my gosh, wait, I think we're gonna keep this because we could probably have Gracie give that to our heir as kind of like um, a gift for her children. Yes, you guys, I am preparing. I am in full on mother and grandmother mode now. So we're gonna go downstairs. I don't know what we have, if we have any cakes that are made up, just in case they do come home. Excellent, I don't think we have anything spoiled. Okay, we do have a full cake, so let's put that one away. We can get rid of that, and the one time that it doesn't go in the dishwasher, we actually don't even need to have that cake. So we have this ready to go. She is getting hungry, but we need to come over. Potty train Riker. And do we have his skill up at all? No, he is still a level one. So just trying to get the skill up. So that is something that Riker can actually do on his own. And if you guys have any vampire clothing custom content that you guys think that we should download for this series, you can either post it over in our Discord or you can tag me on Twitter. I did have an amazing few of you guys that have tagged me on Twitter that I just have not downloaded it yet. <laughs> but we are gonna do that. I don't know if it was actually for toddlers or if it was for children, but there was a really cute onesie that was like pajamas with the hood that had the bats on. So we are definitely gonna be um, getting that into the game. So do we have any more food here? No, we don't. Everything's actually looking really good. I think we're gonna have Gracie come over and do some paintings. Once we do get that potty skill brought up, just because we are going to try to get as many paintings as we can. We're probably only going to sell a few and I'm going to keep my favorites for the new home. So I also have had, had a bunch of you guys asking on streams and over in Discord, what's going to happen when the new air takes over if we are going to be living here, but we are going to be moving over and starting from scratch. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, he is... That is dirty. Okay, Gracie, I'm going to get you to actually clean this. Yeah, you, okay, you can take a break. Randall, you come over, I guess. Okay, he is almost at a level two, but I'm really not too rushy for him because he is independent. Imagination, we can get you working on imagination. And, oh, dang it, we have no promotion going on. She needs to come over, though, and get some food. Get some leftovers. Okay, so Queenie has returned home with a school pro project. Okay. Oh, we are a B student. Oh, dang it, I thought we already were. So we are a B student. Quinn swiped an object. Of course you did. Of course you did, and she is a B student as well. Okay, well, that is fine. We can get the girls to go outside, and we can start working on the school projects. They are hungry, though. So we are going to have her come out here, work carefully and Quinn you can put your project over here work on that carefully and we could probably even have her start her homework 
you um you are getting hungry so i think we will after she finishes her project we will get some leftovers and then she can get her homework done we'll do that there oh my gosh gracia you need to come over clean this up because it is filthy absolutely disgusting so we are actually pregnant with hunter if you guys seen the last episode you know that um i kind of forgot everything that we were doing <laughs> but gracie is expecting our baby with hunter and we are in the third trimester in six hours so i don't know if we are going to be having the baby in this episode i really hope that we do I might just kind of have Gracie um, hang out. I guess she could probably end up having it in the evening because it is only four o'clock. Arthur Goth, sorry to bother you, but I've heard what a great person you are. Would you be interested in making a generous donation to charity? Yes, let's donate to charity. Wait, what time is it? Oh my God, you guys, I completely forgot that that was something that I really wanted to have Gracie do was actually host some kind of a charity event here at the home. I think that could actually be really fun and interesting. So let's get rid of some of these dishes. How is everybody making out? Um, oh my gosh, she's like almost done her project completely. And we have Queenie coming out, focused, working carefully. Okay, so Gracie, how many aspiration points do we have? We have 1,465. I don't know if there's anything worth... Mentors can reach morning sun, extra skill. Storm chaser, no thank you. <laughs> Potion of youth, master of grills, no, okay. All single. Yeah, we really don't need to save money. Okay, so we really don't need anything for Gracie just because of... Oh, wait. Did she go to bed? Okay, she has gone to sleep. Actually, I think we're going to have her wake up and just take care of some of her needs before we actually have her go to bed for the evening. So we can come in, use the washroom. We need to have some fun, though. She could probably, oh, she can't do that while she's pregnant. Okay, I think she can swing though. Ask to swing with, are you finished your project? I think she might almost be done and then we can have her come in and go to bed. So Queenie has reached mental level two. Okay, she's gonna definitely need to get something to eat but she just started her project and she's almost done. Oh my gosh, those take a really long time. I do feel like we are getting a lot done though, you guys, even though it's taking a really long time. We're going to get some potty help. You can come over. What is your skills at? Level two. Okay, potty help. And you might not be able... Okay, actually, I changed my mind. We're going to go in and play something broke. Oh no. Oh my gosh, these are disgusting. Okay, wait. <laughs> Let's come over. Oh, okay, it's not it's not dirty. Gracie, you're gonna have to come over and mop this up, reach level two of movement. Okay, so they are at least making progress. That is good. Where's everybody else? Gracie is swinging. Please tell me this is actually going to be helping her find. Yes, okay, we have that brought up. Just because, as you guys know, when we have a baby, we are really not going to be able to get, like, anything done. <laughs> it's kind of going to, like, take all of our time. Oh, my gosh. Wait, I think we can evolve these up. So, I kind of don't really know what happens when you evolve up plants and you graft them or if you, like, plant the samples. I don't know if the evolved quality kind of, like, comes with it, but I'm going to... Oh, um, I don't know. Oh my gosh, look how good that one is doing. It's like halfway up. This one's not doing as good. Let's sell those. We're going to need some um, bond with the bees, maybe. We can turn that on and I don't see anything 
ready to evolve up. I feel like we have not been able to raise the quality of the apple trees up in a really long time, to be honest. I don't know if there's a glitch or if I'm like completely forgetting about something. So Riker has acquired the imagination skill. Oh God, okay, let's not worry about this. We need to get the boys some food. And then we're gonna be sending, let's open these up. Let's get some food. Oh my gosh, we don't wanna have any neglected children. Grab a serving. If you guys were actually over on the Twitch live stream with the Not Sabera, you guys know the traumatic event that happened that um, we really need to pay attention to our toddlers. I'll just say that. <laughs> so we're gonna get both of them to go over, grab something to eat. We can then send them to bed. How are the girls? Okay, she is almost done. We're gonna need to have her go to the washer before she goes to sleep. And we also have Queenie. Now Queenie is fun, is pretty down. She is working really hard on the project though. I think we could get her to have some leftovers and then we can send her up to the bedroom. She can sleep in here. I love this bedroom, you guys. I feel like this is probably like one of my favorite rooms in the whole entire home. I just love it. I love the colors, the pinks with the teals. It's just so, I don't know, so fresh looking <laughs> or something. I kind of wish this bedroom was downstairs just so we could see it more. So we have Queenie who has now gotten onto level three of the thinking. And we really don't need to have both of those just because I, I really hope you guys that the next baby we have for sure is like not a twin. I feel like we have had so many twins. We have Queenie, Quinn, and we also have Riker and Randall. Okay, has Gracie gone to bed? How much longer? Third trimester is in two hours. Okay, you guys, well, what I am gonna do is I'm actually gonna have everybody here finish up what they are doing, whether it be their homework, getting something to eat, um, bringing their fun up and all of that. I'm going to be sending everybody to bed. And as you guys know, Gracie is going to be in third trimester in 30 minutes. So we're gonna send everybody to bed and I am gonna be meeting you guys right back here once we get the notification that Gracie has gone into labor, you guys. I'm so freaking excited to see the baby of Quinn and Hunter. So let's send everybody to bed and I will meet you guys right back here. Okay, you guys, well, Gracie has gone into labor. So it is the next morning. We do have Quinn and Queenie who are gonna be heading off to school soon. So hopefully we will be able to have the baby before they go because we really need to have them um, work on their schooling so they can be promoted. So, oh my gosh. Okay, let's have Gracie come down. She is actually completely exhausted, you guys. Let's have her come over and have this baby there better only be one <laughs> because I cannot do freaking twins or oh my gosh, even triplets. I would completely have a heart attack. Gracie is having this baby. Oh my gosh. Yay. Oh my gosh, Gracie. We're going to be having our next baby. What do you guys think is going to be a girl or a boy? I mean, we did just have two boys. We had two girls before that, and congratulations, it's a boy. So Gracie did just give birth. Okay, let's pull up a name here. So for our new little boy, we are gonna be going over into the comments. This one comes from Story Girl 83 um, Okay, so she has said that she thinks between eight and 12 more pregnancies that Gracie is going to be having. So her boy names are Steven, Simon, Sasha, Scott, Sebastian, and Sean. Okay, I think we're gonna go with Scott. Or, oh my gosh, Simon, Stefan, Scott, Sebastian. Let's go with Scott. I think that will be a lot, easy, um, a lot easier to remember. Scott Nichols. Wait a minute. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. This better not be triplets. Oh my gosh, I don't have another comment. Okay, give me one second. I'm gonna go over into the comments and find our next name. Okay, so I went over into the comments to find our new baby girl's name. So this one comes from musicalfan167 and they have a ton of suggestions for us. So her girl name, or the girl names that they have chosen are Serena, Serenity, Story, Sky, Song, Sonata, 
Savannah, Shiloh, Surrey. And I think we're gonna choose Serenity because I think it's a really pretty name. So we're gonna do Serenity, hopefully I spelled it right, Nichols. Oh, oh my God, thank God. <laughs> I was like, if we freaking have triplets, we are not prepared when we have two cribs here. So we have our new baby, Scott and Serenity. Okay, Gracie, I think what we're gonna do right off is do, oh my gosh, wait, not for her. You need some super efficient baby care. And we need to go over and change our baby counter. So we are 37, 38, 39 babies. Wow, oh my gosh. Okay, so the next thing that we're gonna be doing, you guys, is having Gracie become pregnant. So I think what we're gonna do right off, today's episode obviously is gonna be a little bit longer than usual, that is fine. We are going to be inviting over someone new. Now, we did have a baby with Hunter. Who was the one that we were working on? Um, oh my gosh, I can't remember who the new guy was, Emmanuel. Yes, I'm pretty sure it was Emmanuel that we invited over last time and then we kind of remembered that we were pregnant <laughs> by Hunter. I had a little bit of um, a slip up. So nice work, Queenie, completing school projects. Emmanuel is coming over. Oh my gosh, we need to get the incense lit. We're gonna have the girls study hard. So that hopefully they will be able to age up. Emmanuel is here. So we need to kind of pay attention to the toddlers as well. And he is here. Okay, our counter is getting a little bit dirty. Let's light some incense everywhere. We need to get this place smelling so romantic. What do you guys picture a romance scent smelling like? I always wonder what... Okay, get away from the garbage. Come in here. Go here. Wait. Emmanuel, come inside. Call over. Come on in. We are feeling romantic though. I need to just kind of make sure that, so we have Vlad's children, Harper was next, who was above them? Okay, so that is Erwin. Erwin, yes. Okay, so we are good to go with um, Emmanuel. Now he was actually submitted and added by one of you guys. So thank you so much, you guys. We have so many. Wait, why can we not get to him? No. Come out here. Go over here. Get to know him. And then we can go in there. Hey. Oh, oh my God. That is not. Is that getting to know Emmanuel? That's quite strong. Let's go chat here. Let's go inside. We need to get a whiff <laughs> of the romance. Gracie has learned that he is a bookworm. Yes, come inside. We need to get him. He's bored. Maybe like smell the romance. And we'll do a sexy pose. I don't know if he's going to like it, but he is feeling flirty. So as long as we can get to that first kiss i'm definitely hopeful that gracie is going to end up pregnant oh my god wait we did have the first kiss already so i think we might be able to have this baby really soon oh my gosh it's going good sit and chat okay we need to have this relationship up a little bit more okay so let's while we're waiting get the toddlers kind of queued up to get some of their stuff done so you can play with the dolls a little bit. You can also come over, work on some communication. And we have Randall. Now Randall can go potty. You can get working on your potty skill. And you guys, how is it going? Do you want to have a baby with me yet? Embrace, offer a rose. That always seems to work. Oh my gosh, Gracie. <laughs> Suggestive conversation. Try for a baby. Oh, he's liking it. He's heated up. Wow. Okay, you guys, I went from not thinking we were going to have too much happen in today's episode to having everything happen. So we had babies. We have crying babies. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Okay. Um, We need to come over and we are going to need to do super efficient baby care. Gracie, you need to hurry up. Oh my God. This is a little bit of a disaster. We have way too much that is going on. 
Um, yeah, we'll worry about doing the pee test until after she comes over to the baby. Change the diaper. And Scotty is actually still doing really good. We did give him super refreshing baby care already. Yay! He loves it and Gracie is still feeling heated. So let's go over and take up this pregnancy test. So yes, Emmanuel's still sleeping, which is good just in case um, the pregnancy didn't stick. <laughs> we might have to work on things once more. And Gracie is now expecting, you guys, I did not expect to have this much actually happen. I know we kind of threw Gracie into this um, next pregnancy, but I really want to get into the 40s for our children before, um, oh no, she's telling him. What's he going to say? <gasps> no, he, oh, he's excited. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Okay, well, Emmanuel, you can now um, ask to leave. You can leave now. We have too much stuff going on. What time is it? It is 12 o'clock. Okay, so you guys know what that means. We are going to be needing all of your baby name suggestions for Gracie's next pregnancy or for her next baby. If you guys did enjoy today's episode, as always, Make sure that you guys do give this a very big thumbs up and you can still continue adding in your babies and just make sure that you upload them with the hashtag KMXO100baby to possibly have your sim featured in an upcoming episode and hopefully I'm going to get to see you all next time. Bye guys!